And we are at Patriot Hills. So we're gonna come on in here and show you a little bit more of the neighborhood. I'm showing you this side, but on this side you can see that some of these lots were not as flat as they are on the right as they are on the left. And right here is where Patriot Ridge or Partridge Ridge and um, Plover meet. And here are these new homes. I have to figure out which one is the right one. So, give me two minutes and I'll point it out to you. Hang on. Oh boy, I might want to see the whole thing. There you go. Okay, so here we are. It was the second one, not the first one. Um, so this is 4650. We're going to head on in through the garage. Um, they are in the drywalling phase. You will have a driveway, so do not worry. Your HVAC and your hot water heater are going to sit on this, this ledge. So this is your two-car garage. Nice to see the electrical is in. So we you step in from the front door, Right, front door. You're gonna have this little office space. It's in the front. Come in. Cabinets here, cabinets on top. Pantry, cabinets with your uh, stove and microwave there, cabinets on top. This will be your bar area. Pantry with a light, all bar and counter. This is your sink. So this door is for the garage, your stairs, and then you have off to the side here, this is gonna be your living space, possible dining area, however you wanna set it up. Down the hallway off of the stairs, you have a little closet space, and this is the half bath. And that's all that's downstairs. And while we're down here, they've got here in the living area, your recess where you would mount your TV is here. So. This is the patio area with a little outside storage space, which is really kind of nice. Um, you're not going to have much of a yard. The yard on both of these it's probably going to be right here, so you're only going to have this much. That's still going to be nature, all natural space. So you'll have some side yard here, but not too much. Back here, you're probably going to have maybe five to six feet from where the sand of the edge of the house is here to the sand out here. So let's head on up. So this one's a four bedroom, two full bath with that half bath downstairs. So when you get up to the top of the stairs, real quick, this is laundry, the hallway with the guest bedrooms, and you have a bedroom here at the top of the stairs. This is gonna be your master bedroom, front of the house, separate from the other bedrooms. This is a 16 by 14 space. It does have the outlets already for a TV. Your walk-in closet space. Your master bath. Has the dual vanities 
We'll have a pocket door for the private commode, so there will be a door here. Then you have a standalone shower and another closet space. No tub. Laundry. This is huge for a laundry room. Lots of things you can do here. That's cool. Bedroom number one. The bedrooms here are going to be 12 by 12s. It's 12 feet by 12 feet. That's a really great size bedroom. And I'll have walk in closets. This is the guest bath with a tub and shower combo. We'll have a single vanity and a commode. And what's nice up here is you have an open loft space. This is another 12 by 12 bedroom. We still have a walk-in closet, which is nice. I really like the loft space here. This is this is cool. Again, you'll have the outlets for a TV. There's outlets in the ceiling for ceiling fans. This looks like speaker wire. So you can do a surround sound up here. This is the last bedroom. So we've seen all four bedrooms now and the loft space. This bedroom, again, is gonna be a 12 by 12. Just looks bigger because it has a lot of natural light coming in. And you have the walk-in closet. So this house could be finished in July, ready for you to be here in August. Of course, they'll do all of the flooring and everything gets put in. Um, you will not get a washer and dryer. I have to double check if you get a fridge. Um, I don't think you'll get a fridge either, but I'll double check. So let's head down and see what you think. So when we're talking about appliances, you'll have the dishwasher stove microwave. I have to double check if you're going to actually get a refrigerator from the builder. Um, you will not get a washer and dryer from the builder. So there are things that you're going to have to come out of pocket for, but they will give you the 15,000 towards your closing costs. Linda's already got your closing cost, something looking like 13,000, which would be covered by the builder. Um, and then you may have 2000 to go towards a rate buy down. So this is the house here at um, 4650 Plover Drive. It is in, does have an HOA fee of $80 annually right now. Um, let me know what you think. I will have the garage door opener, but yeah, cool.